Good morning, this is Shannon McClellan with Hometown News, keeping you connected to your hometown. Well, last evening on Saturday, January the 1st, several members of the Smith Falls and surrounding community came together at Victoria Park for a candlelight ceremony in honor of the recent tragic loss of a Smith Falls woman. On Boxing Day, we lost Chantelle Lebrun, a 36-year-old mother of four and well-known local amateur photographer to what the Smith Falls police are calling a domestic-related homicide. Last evening, two of Chantel's best friends, Caitlin Butte and Danielle Pilon, organized a beautiful candlelit vigil in remembrance of Chantel and to show support for her family, as well as shed light to the problem we have in our community and all around of domestic violence. Here are a few words from Caitlin and Danielle. Tonight, we are just trying to gather with members of our community to um, kind of raise a little bit of awareness about domestic violence to let women in our community know that you are not alone, um, so that this tragedy doesn't happen to anyone else. Um, we also want to avoid the negativity tonight, and we just want to make sure that uh, Chantal's light that we all knew is continued on, and to show her children that there is a community of people standing behind them, supporting them, loving them from near and far. Um, our community is incredible. The GoFundMe page is over $62,000 so far. So thank you to the community for that. Um, that community, that money will definitely help her kids um, and her family. And I just, so yeah, tonight is just about continuing. We had the honor of knowing Chantel and her light. So that is what we are doing tonight is just lighting, uh, lighting the night for Chantel. Danielle and Caitlin were joined by many last evening to shine a light for Chantel as well as share a few special memories. It's hard to just pinpoint one thing that was so special about Chantel. I think, I think there were so many things. Um, she was the first person who would reach out if you needed something and the last person to ever ask for help. Um, I admired her photography. I admired, I admired her courage of going out and starting her own business and doing that while raising four kids. And I thought, you know, I, I hardly have energy to do my to raise my own two kids and she's out here, you know, girl bossing it and, and being amazing. And I have so many incredible memories from her making us laugh behind the camera lens. She was always behind it, never in front of it. Eh? No, no, she did not like her picture. Yeah. <laughs> I went to uh, many Sens games with her. That was kind of our thing. So I have so many memories about just being at the rink and we had the passion for hockey and, and going and spending time together. Um, we spent a good part of eight years raising our kids together. We lived around the corner from each other. So it was like, uh, I don't have a sitter. Are you free? Sure. Or I'm going to be late. Can you grab my kids? So that's kind of how our relationship. The GoFundMe page Remembering Chantel, organized by Butte, has reached over $63,000. Any money left over from the funeral will be put in trust for the four children she leaves behind. Like, a, a lot of people had no idea what, no, what she went through. Because um, I think she, she had been always made her life she didn't want to put her problems onto anyone else so she always had a smile on her face and even if she was going through something quite difficult she was still going to all of her sessions making all of her clients laugh I know. if you or someone that you know is experiencing domestic violence please reach out to the lanark county interval house's 24-hour crisis line at 1-800-267-7946 this is shannon mcclellan with hometown news Together, we are community strong.